hockey has become such a, uh, such a huge sport here in Las Vegas. It attracts a ton of attention, lots of Las Vegans, and even those passing through. Ron Futrell caught up with one of those entertainers who says following the Knights is no joke. Well, hi, everybody. A special treat for you tonight. We're going to have our hockey expert Ian Bag with us. He's Canadian. He's funny. Oh, and by the way, he brings some real star power to our edition of Striking Gold. If you turn around, it's Ryan Reeves. And that's the saddest part about hockey. Guys move, but fans can't afford to get a new jersey. You were such a hit with the fans when you came out here to Vegas. They love, see they love seeing you at T-Mobile Arena. That's had to have hurt to not have that interaction that you had I, so I, well with the fans. I miss it big time. I miss it. It's crazy. We did that. We did the in front of the uh, the T-Mobile, and we just had so much fun teasing the fans and them teasing me, and and getting to see how much people in Vegas loved hockey. That was one of the things. And how great it was. I don't know if you remember. Like there was people wearing half the uh, half the visiting team and half the Vegas team, on, yes. and they had those jerseys made and stuff like that. And I just loved it, and that was so much fun. And then boom. No way. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been surviving this? I mean, your comedy uh, and you, you seem to thrive so much on that interpersonal reaction. Uh, it's, it's been tough. You know, I've just been yelling at people from my balcony. It's basically <laughs> how, I've <been> doing, <laughs> how I've been doing interviews as they walk by. How are you doing? What do you think about things? And they just answer. <laughs> and it's just a good time. But I, I've been doing shows uh, via Zoom. I've also been doing outdoor shows. I started, I think, in like August, July, going to uh, some places on the beach. And, and some people had places in their backyard where they invite some friends over and everybody be distanced. And we do stand up there, a couple comics and stuff like that. But, uh, and I've traveled a couple times. I went to Alaska uh, in October, and they had no idea there was even a pandemic when I got there. So that, that was fun. Nobody's told them. Nobody's let them know yet. I, I'm the only one wearing a mask. I'm walking around wearing a mask, and I, I was loving it because people, I'm not going to look like a dummy. I'm like, you got a mullet. You're fine. You're gonna, <laughs> it's, it's not going to hurt you. Don't just wear okay. the mask. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been interesting. I've traveled a couple times. Uh, places, some places have been more open than uh, a lot of places, but uh, just surviving and uh, getting, you know what, uh, Ron, I traveled so much. I had no idea how great my home life was. So it's kind of been a blessing. I've gotten to know my dogs and my wife uh, much better. My wife actually likes me. It's, it's, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> You found one. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. I had no idea the lady that lived with me. We were married. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you just stop by, come in and out, and say yeah. hi. And it's okay. Yeah. Wow, I just drop off money and leave. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me how. Okay, Caesars. You were going to open up Caesars, the convention center. Uh, the convention. Yeah, I was, so I, I was doing this tour where I was going from city to city and uh, I was in the back of a of a 18 wheeler that they had turned into a theater and I would tell them all about this Caesars uh, new convention center that they were about to open and the first thing they were going to do in there was the NFL draft. That was they were going to do. So they had the combine set up or there was going to be set up outside and then the draft was going to happen inside and then it was going to be voila, here's this new convention center. And I remember uh, when we started, it was January, and I just remember I said to the guy that was in charge, "Have you heard about this virus? This thing?" And he goes, "Yeah, it's going to be fine." Don't worry, April. <laughs> yeah. April's a long ways away. We'll still have the draft here yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, he said oh. everything's going to be fine. Nothing. Gonna, yeah. So he was like, and then I remember he was like, "You were right. We're not going to. It's not going to happen." <laughs> <laughs> you were looking forward to coming and seeing the Raiders play here, weren't you? I, I wanted to go to that building so bad. And when you build a huge, uh, like Noah's Ark, but all in black, you're like, oh boy, there's going to be trouble. And you want to go look inside it. And yeah, and I just, I just look, it looked like such a fantastic building. And I wanted to go see a game there so bad. Just, just the weather, you know, everything. And just, just this excitement from the people. Cause you've seen, we've seen what we've done with the, uh, with the golden Knights. So I'm wondering what's going to go on there. And they already have a following cause they're the Raiders. So I'm just like, what a kind of, excitement is that. All right. Thank you there, Ian. Now, Ian Bag is returning to Las Vegas this week, the Outdoor Comedy Series at Desert Pines Golf Course on East Bonanza. That's this Friday, March 28th. Bring your nine iron and watch a comedy show. I'm Ron Futrell, 8 Sports Now.